So, in my last video, I was having problems where this was spewing water when I was trying to dry off the parts after dunking them in evapor rust and washing with water. So I figured, okay, I don't have a lot of space for my air compressor, and currently, as seen in other videos, it's all self-contained. The hose reels attached, etc. But because the door is right there, I can't have things going way out, and I don't have a lot of other space for extra attachments and other stuff. So I looked at the air dryers, and that probably would have put this clear out to here, which would have meant that's in the walkway and that's not going to work. So I figured, okay, look around. Husky at Home Depot had an airline discant filter dryer. Okay, fine. It's little, it's plastic. I looked, and it's cheap plastic. I, I'm guessing the way this gets put together is these things, these little tabs, push in, and you can take it out, and you theoretically could refill the inside, except Home Depot does not sell replacement desk again, so I guess you'd have to get that online. So, I figure, okay, fine. Take the little orange pieces out, attach it. So, I have very nice Flexzilla connectors on my air hose. I have the Flexzilla connectors on my air hose. That works great for quick connect and disconnect. This attachment is on the hose, so I can't put it there, which is fine. So I have to put it in between the connector and the blower. No big deal. Okay. Take that out. Put that in. Plastic, plastic. Remember to take the little orange things out, because those help seal off and protect the beads from drying, or from uh, absorbing too much moisture ahead of time. The one thing I was worried about is there's a little rubber gasket around this and it was it's sticking up in spots like there it's down in you can probably not see there it's down in towards the bottom here it's sticking up and all wiggled there it's down etc it's like okay fine whatever it's cheap hopefully it'll work well it doesn't you attach it on there after of course taking the little rubber stoppers off and it leaks air so it, it just it leaks around that gasket which means it's not going to work because I don't want to have something well for two reasons one if it leaks air that means air from outside in just the environment is going to get in and if it, air from outside in the environment gets in the beads are going to get used up faster just from the ambient air versus just from what you're using in the tool but also that means that I can't leave my connector attached because it'll drain the tank and it also, if I'm in the middle of stuff, it'll be constantly draining down the tank while I'm using it, and I'll have to run it more often. And it's super loud. So this is a definite thumbs down. Do not buy. Don't buy one of these. Husky, you cheaped out. And yes, it was only f basically 15 bucks at Home Depot, so I wouldn't have expected a whole lot. But I would have expected something that at least worked versus leaks like that. And again, the fact that... The gasket is not installed correctly. That's a basic manufacturing thing that, I mean, yes, it's a cheap part. Gaskets have that problem sometimes in even expensive things, but still, that sucks. So now I got to take it back to Home Depot and say, hey, this thing leaks. It doesn't work. So definitely do not buy. Buy something else.